I just got through watching episode three and four of the fall of the house of Usher. I am telling y'all right now. Netflix has dropped a fucking must see show. I'm telling y'all now. Check this shit out. This is the craziest, fucking horrifying, sadistic, backstabbing show I have ever seen in my entire life. They have took sibling rivalry to another level. This fucking last episode with the damn monkey. Oh my God, I can't I can't think of that the female name, but I know she starred in uh, she started in a movie with The Rock. Uh, it was about those fucking uh, I don't know if it was earthquakes or hurricanes. It was some shit. I know it was it had something to do with the end of the world and shit. And The Rock, he. I don't know if he was in the army. He flew helicopters. I can't remember the fucking name of that movie. But I know she was his wife in that movie. She stars on this damn show. Straight evil. In this last episode, when she jumped on that goddamn table. Spoiler alert, if you have not seen it. If you have not seen it, please. You probably don't want to listen to me talk about this shit right now. I'm not going to give a lot away. But damn, I have, that shit made me jump and I was like straight zoomed in. You know when you watch a movie and you just forget about everything that's around you. You just focus on that damn movie or that TV show. You don't hear shit. You don't hear your phone ringing. You don't uh, remember that you got food on the stove cooking. That shit ain't burning, smoke everywhere. You still ain't paying no attention So because you're so glued in. To what you're watching. That's how good this fucking show is. I have, I'm telling you man. I have never seen no shit like this. You all have to check this show out. It is by far the best to me on Netflix. They have outdone themselves with this. The acting. Is superb. Man. I'm going to hate when I'm done with this season. I'm really going to hate it. The same way I was with Game of Thrones when that shit ended and how I am now with uh, Stranger Things waiting on the next season and Cobra Kai waiting on the next season. I'm going to be pissed. I cannot wait to watch this next episode. As soon as I'm done with this fucking review of the first four, I'm going straight into five. The way these siblings are dying, it is straight horrifying. But this last one took the cake for me, man. The way this fucking lady jumped on that damn table, opened up her damn shirt, her blouse, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I thought for a second she was finna transform to a fucking, or change to a fucking monkey. But I'm kind of confused on this because she's everywhere. You see her everywhere. I don't know if she a fucking ghost. She a demon. What the fuck is she? They really haven't gave a lot of weight when it comes to her character yet. But damn, this show is good. You all have to check this out. I'm not like all these other famous fucking uh, people who do reviews, who do their fucking homework. I told you. My shit is real. I'm not writing shit down. I'm not writing notes down. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not planning my shit out on what to say. You all get what y'all get from me. I record this shit as is. Ain't no editing. Ain't nothing. If I don't remember shit, I don't remember shit. If I fuck up talking, I fuck up talking. This is what y'all get. Remember, what I always say, this is real life. You can't edit life, you know what I'm saying? So I just be myself. I just be myself. And the reason y'all see this 
flickering lights and shit like that because I want to get that that dark move that uh, I really can't come up with a word for it, but it fits with the show. I'm telling you, y'all would know what I'm talking about. Watch once you watch a full episode. Just watch the first episode. Y'all gonna be hooked. I guarantee it. Y'all gonna be hooked. If you're not into this type of shit, though, don't watch it. If you're not into crazy horror, backstabbing type shit, a little sexuality is in it, involved in it. The first couple episodes, I don't know how far they're gonna take that. The further along I go in each episode. But these siblings are motherfuckers. You wouldn't even think that they are a damn family. For real. The father, he's played in so many damn movies. I'm not going to give away names. I want y'all to check it out. But the father, yeah, he's in, he played in a lot of shit. And his sister. They have played in a lot of shit. It starts off explaining how they got to... They position of power because the Usher family are very, very powerful. They have a lot of money. They in like the pharmaceutical field, I believe. And man, this show is good. That's all I'm gonna give away. I just had to really get my little two cent on it, y'all. I'm not like I don't have long reviews or anything like that. I barely even do reviews. Cause that's not what my channel is all about. But I need to start doing that shit. I did a I did a reviews on a couple of uh, shows. Not every single episode, like a lot of these reactors do. They react to all. They do reviews on all the episodes in a season. Not me. You will get a few out of me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not really what I do. But as you can see on that picture, those are some of the siblings. And the one on the end there, standing next to the guy that's standing up. Oh, by the way, the guy that's standing up. Guess who that is? That is your boy, Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill. Yes, and he's played the shit out of that role so far. He's not with the family. He's the fa uh, family lawyer. But those uh, siblings there, a couple of them siblings that you see now on there, which have died on this picture right there, oh, here, what you see now on the screen. A couple of those siblings have died. The one I'm talking about with the monkey, that sibling is on there. The episode I just watched, terrifying, I'm telling you, terrifying. But I'm finna get on out of here, y'all. That's my review of the first four. I'm not giving a lot away. I'm just telling y'all to watch it. It's by far the best. I can't wait. I'm excited to get to the next one. I'm out of here, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Click that bell for your boy. Y'all know what this channel is all about. It's all about being real. So help me out. Click that bell. All my family out there, all my friends who I know personally, come on, y'all. Spread my channel out. Y'all can help your boy out. And I need some members, y'all. Come on, y'all. I got to start again. You know, my channel got to start getting up there. And the only way I'm going to do that is y'all help me out. To become a member is not a lot. It's not. Come on, I know a lot of people can afford two dollars and uh, I think it's like two ninety nine. That's the lowest membership you can get. You know there are certain perks that come with it. I'm starting to get all that shit together. But come on now, help your boy out. Help me out, y'all. Cause you help me out, I'm gonna be rewarding you know my uh, subscribers with a lot of shit going forward. Once my channel get up there and I start making money like I'm supposed to be making, oh, I'm gonna start giving back. Certain things that I'm going to do, then I'm going to open up my store. Then certain thing, uh, things I'm going to do for you to like win prizes and shit like that. I'm going to start doing all that shit. Once I start figuring out all of this, like I said, I've been doing it two years now. And I think I'm starting to get better and better at this shit. But it's still a lot I got to learn about this. You know what I'm saying? Like the monetization part of it, I'm still learning that part. Uh, opening up my store, I'm still learning how to do that. This membership uh, shit, I still, I'm still learning. So I'm still learning, you know what I'm saying? But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And as always, until next time, you already know. Peace, love, and deuces.